Um, you know, what? Here, here's, let me give you some verses. Let me give uh, Robbie some verses. And, um, you know, the question of, in my opinion, the question of father, son, this is uh, something that's been very hard for people to understand. And this is why you have so many um, debates, Trinitarian debates, right? The Trinitarian, and I know a lot of uh, Hebrew roots, Messianic folks don't like the, the word Trinity and uh, think that this is a right. Greek thought and all that kind of thing. But within the scriptures, we see the triune God, right? We see Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit has personal pronouns, and uh, the Holy Spirit is the spirit shared by, it's the spirit of God, and it's also the, the spirit of Yeshua. They share the exact same spirit. My son has asked me recently, my son's five, when he was about four, he asked, he has these Bible stories that he watched watches, and he asked me, Dad, why is Jesus, why is Yeshua praying to himself? And this is from the garden, right, when he's praying in the garden uh, before he gets That's such arrested. a wonderful question. I love that question. And it's, and it's uh, <laughs> uh, you know, we have to be very careful with our language here because I do not believe in modalism. I don't believe that God is... God up here, and then he he just puts himself into a mode of of Yeshua down here. Something, yeah, yeah. He's just projecting himself as Yeshua down here, and he's projecting himself as this over here. Modalism is, and so it, we can't use the word mode or you know anything like that. To I and I, what I have told my son is this, and I I don't have a good answer for a lot of these uh, questions, but what I've told my son is this: God has greatly shown us who he is and his love for us by being father and son. This relationship that goes on, the giving of a son as a sacrifice shows the infinite love that God has for us. And that couldn't be shown. Our human minds, our puny human minds, I love how Sprawl says, this creature from the dirt that defied the almighty God. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, you know, the, our minds cannot comprehend the infinite love of God. But what God did was he uh, attempted to show us that by not just being sh manifesting himself as father and manifesting himself as son, but being father and son to be able to show us. Now, to the question of whether or not Yeshua is yod heh vav -Heh, um, this is, uh, in my opinion, let's go straight to the first book of the Bible. Genesis 2.4 says, These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. In that day that the Lord God, and this is what the ESV says, the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. You'll notice that Lord is in all caps. And the reason why is because you have a double name of God here, which is yod heh and then Elohim. Okay, so they didn't want to say Lord, Lord. They said Lord God. So yod heh vav -Heh created the heavens and the earth. Okay, and this is what this verse clearly states. Now, if we go to the apostolic scriptures, we go to John 1.1. 1, 1, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And of course, later on in John 1, we know that the word became flesh and dwelt among us, right? This is Yeshua. Yeah, tabernacle. Oh, that's important because that'll get to our revelation uh, question in the e same email. Okay. Um, uh, but the, the point here is that John tells us clearly, and this is, I've just chosen one little passage, but this is a, this is a slam dunk of, we know that yod heh in the beginning created the heavens and the earth, and we know that Yeshua was the one who created. So is Yeshua yod heh vav -Heh? Yes, absolutely. By the time you have Emmanuel, that is God dethroning himself, right? The son dethrones himself from the heavenly places and then becomes one of those creatures from the dirt in order to save his elect, which is, I mean... I understand, you know, I've been watching a lot of Sprawl because of his passing. He's been, I mean, videos from him have been all over the, uh, all over Facebook and YouTube. And it's, it's amazing to see um, his passion. And the reason why I understand, you know, when he's talking about this infinitely holy God and then this creature from the dirt, 
It's mind-blowing what God has done in order to redeem his elect. He dethrones himself out of the heavenly places and comes down and becomes one of these defiant creatures. Of course, he wasn't defiant. He's the only one that wasn't, right? Um, and so to do this, he has now made himself both father and son and this is how the world can continue to be while he's in you know while he's in this human body on earth and walking around among us it's something that we can't understand hey thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video so other people can see it and also if you haven't already you should subscribe to our youtube channel just hover over this round thing below me and then click the red button that says subscribe that way you'll never miss another video from the rob and caleb show